no, it's not possible with this part of the leg. Fibular grafting? Oh, no, cancer seeded his fibula. <sighs> what? You don't like Mark, admit it. I like Mark. Liar. I like him, I do. We're just, you know, we're different. <laughs> How are you different? Just tell me, because I, I, don't, I don't think you actually are. What? Should I leave? Shut it, Griff. I'm waiting. It's not that I don't like Mark. It's just that he's Mark. You know, what you see is what you get. Besides, you like him, so what do I care if his abs are where his soul should be? Oh, my God. <laughs> Found it. Found it right here. You don't have to cut off his leg. Okay, so we'll take out the bone and then treat it with high doses of radiation to kill the cancer. 30 minutes later, we reinsert the bone back into Jake's leg. Usually, the procedure is done using a cadaver bone, so there's no risk of putting cancer back in the body, but we couldn't find a match for Jake on such short notice. So there's a chance the cancer can come back? Well, that's why amputation's less risky. But if we do this, if you agree, we will monitor Jake closely, scans every few months, and if the cancer returns, we'll do the amputation. But this is done a lot? Uh, it's only been done a few times in the world. So if we do this, and if we say yes, there's a chance he'd keep his leg forever. We hope. It's a big risk, buddy. God knows I love to watch you dance, but... What would you do? Oh, that's, that's between you and your folks, dude. Yeah. I don't want to know. What would you do? If it was my arm and uh, I couldn't operate anymore, I'd, I'd do everything that I could to keep it. Did really good with this kid today, Crow. Impressive. Which is funny, because I wouldn't think that you'd be good in peds just by looking at you. Okay, fine. I don't like Mark. At all. There, I said it. you never even tried. Uh, take Jake here. You think his dad was happy when Jake wanted ballet shoes for Christmas and not cleats? No, this guy wanted a kid he could throw a ball with. You know he did. But his son loved to dance, so he signed him up for lessons, went to recitals, learned what there was to love about ballet. He tried because he loved his kid. Mark stares at my boobs when we talk. <laughs> He starts with my face, but then somewhere along the way he gets distracted and ends up on my boobs. And I love guys. I love them. But I have tried my whole life to avoid the boob staring guy. And biology even helped me by making me gay. But now, my girlfriend's best friend is that guy. And I don't think that I need to apologize for the fact that the only person I want staring at my boobs is you. Boobs? Really? You're making this about boobs? He stares at them. Because they're good boobs. Can I leave now? Yes, go. Hurry. So we had to remove We're human. Life changes us. Post ops are stable and I've ordered morning laps. Mm. Thanks. You know, Sloan risked his life to save mine, even when I was sleeping with this girl. That's not a guy without a soul. Maybe he's an ass who stares at boobs, but whatever. And your boobs, you, you have nice boobs. Maybe they're lesbian boobs and you don't like men staring at them, but men don't discriminate when it comes to jugs. You have hot boobs, and I stare at them too. We develop new traits. We stop competing. Change of plans. Mark, you're taking me to dinner tonight. What? We're going on a date, you and I, alone. Is this to make up for the fact that you don't like me? Hmm. You told him? No. I'd... She didn't need to. Fine. Let's go before buying. <laughs> Thank you. You uh, you still want Italian? Mm. Eyes on my face, Mark. Uh, 